In this video, we give the definition of a linear system. A linear system in linear algebra refers to a system of linear equations. And the definition of a linear equation was described in a previous video titled, What is a Linear Equation? The link of that video is, is provided in the description section of this video. So as we've learned in that prerequisite video, a linear equation about n variables, aka unknowns, is an equation of this form. For example, here's an example of a linear equation about four unknowns, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, and x of 4. Now, if I have another linear equation about the same set of unknowns, then these two equations form a system of linear equations. This system we're looking at has two equations and four unknowns. So we refer to it as a 2 by 4 system of, of, of linear equations, aka a 2 by 4 linear system. So if you have three equations for four unknowns, then it's a 3 by 4 linear system. Now let me give you a quick quiz. In example 3, what is the number of equations? That's right, it's 4. And what is the number of unknowns? Let's see, 1, 2, 3. So it's 3, and therefore this is a 4 by 3 linear system. Got it? So in general, an m by n linear system is a system of m linear equations about n unknowns. So let's say the n unknowns are x sub 1 to x sub n, and there are m linear equations about these unknowns. Then I need a way to, to label these coefficients so that they have different subscripts between the equations. So what we do is we use double subscripting on the coefficients in front of the unknowns. So a sub 1 for the first equation in front of x sub 1 is not just a sub 1, but a sub 1, 1. The, the first one representing um, the equation, it, it's equation number 1, and the second one representing um, the unknown, it's the coefficient in front of the, the first unknown, x sub 1. And for the same reason, the coefficient in front of x sub 2 for the first equation is a sub 1, 2, and a sub 3 in the first equation becomes a sub 1, 3, etc., and a sub n becomes a sub 1, n. And I put a subscript on the right-hand side coefficient b, so for the first equation it becomes b sub 1. And I do the same thing for the second equation. So this is a sub 2, 1, a sub 2, 2, a sub 2, 3, etc., a sub 2, n, and b sub 2. And we do that for every equation. So for the last equation, it's a sub m, 1, a sub m, 2, a sub m, 3, etc., a sub m, n, and b sub m. So this is a generic linear system where there are num there are m equations and n unknowns, and therefore it's called an m by n linear system. Okay, now here's a bonus example. Sometimes you see an unknown that is missing from an equation. For example, I'm going to modify example 3 and make it example 4 by taking out a term in the second equation. So now the unknown x sub 2 is missing from the second equation. But it's still a good idea to write the second equation this way so that there is a space between x sub 1 and x sub 3 so that all the x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are aligned in the same vertical lines. And the reason we want to do this is because this way it's visually much clearer which coefficient is in front of which unknown so that we don't get confused. And also, the missing x sub 2 is really, you can think of it as uh, x sub 1 plus 0 times x sub 2. So the coefficient in front of x sub 2 is just 0. And this is still a 4 by 3 linear system because it's 4 equations about 3 unknowns. 